morning everyone it's rachel here and we are doing uh, roxy's weekly challenge i pulled out my scraps of scrapbooking paper as you can see there's quite a lot of them um and then i have some digitals i may need to grab more i may not uh glue paper we need our cutter and i thought you know how we made the bags last year and we folded them and they made we made bags and um, we folded over the top so that you had the, the digital paper at the front as well. I might have an example here, just a minute. Oh, these bags, these sorts of bags. I thought, what about, I don't think I've ever done this before. Um, I might have, but you know, got memory like a sieve. What about if we just had the back as the scrapbooking paper and put the fronts with the digital? So that's what I'm thinking. So what I think I might do first, I'm not going to choose these more narrow. I'm going to put those in my um, to-do box because I would cover those up. They're not something that I would use. Um, I do have papers from, you know, many years ago when I first started and um, I didn't really know what I liked. And yeah, so I ended up with all these papers. So these are a good size, actually. Want me to give you a size? You don't really need them. You can make it up yourself. However, the size is six and a half by about four, those ones. Don't need these sorts of strips. Um, that can be a good one. So I just sort of sort them very quickly. I'm obviously not going to do all of them. Could even have a, well, that could make it as a bag. Well, that'd be a nice tag, wouldn't it? Isn't that pretty? Um, that needs to be cut. Yeah, I won't use it all. Now, these are narrow, those ones. Narrow, 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 wide. That could be a good one. Oh, that one's... It's got to be paper glued on it. Hmm, can't remember what I did with that. Choose some of these that are already the right size, so I don't need to really cut them down. Unless I need something to coordinate that doesn't go there. Nope, nope, nope. Could do a narrow, no, I won't bother. Okay, we want the bag to fit something in it, don't we? Those. They may be types of paper that I might decide to cover, that's the only thing. Okay, so we've got a bit of variety here. So I think I'll just choose one. Isn't that pretty? So that could be the back of the bag. I was thinking in, in my thoughts, I was thinking I'd like the top to be a bit like a bag in the sense that it's a bit rough. So um, like that. And I'll also cut it at an angle. But first I'm going to find a piece of paper that I might like to, that will coordinate that I might like to put at the front. I think that's going to be very pretty. So... We need to, I didn't make any samples, so I'm winging it. Cut it bigger because we're going to do a wrap around. And, and I'm also going to fold down. So I want to leave a bit of extra for the folding down. So I'm going to trim it there. So I think what I'll do is choose my papers with each uh, cardstock. And, uh, and then I'll do the rest. So that's going to go with that one. We'll put that over there. Put that there. I might use this again. Now this is a bit tall. I don't think I want such a tall, deep. Actually, I should tear it because that's what I want to do. So I think I'll tear it about here. Now maybe we'll make it a bit taller, this one. And I was thinking you could even put a bit of um, paper on the reverse side if you wanted to and um, and have it for writing. So there's that one. And what paper will I choose for that? I think that would be gorgeous. So let's first... I had a pencil. How is everyone today? Oh, I just seem to just keep cracking today, don't I? Don't today, this week. I just keep starting my videos and and really not asking 
you any questions about yourselves. Okay, so that I won't trim that down at the moment, although I could trim a little bit off the top. I'll keep that little piece. I can use that. So they go together. Yeah, I just keep getting cracking right into the into the videos and not um, seeing how you all are. I hope everybody's well and there's nothing, you know, too dramatic going on. I think I'm going to like the... Oh, it will fold down. Though. Only I could fold it just a little bit. Okay, so I just need to trim. Yeah. Pretty piece of paper left over. And so that's going to be folding down. So let's put that up there. And I need to trim about here. Absolutely love these papers. That's that one. So we'll see how these turn out. Tear the top off that. Now also remember, which I haven't done, or I did in one of them, but just um, see what's on either side. So I think I'd like to see that one. Uh, what do we have? And I'm just using some papers that I had on my desk that might be good for a narrow if I've got a narrow one oh what about if I use a bit of this collage paper oh, that's got blue I don't think I want the blue on that one I'll, I'll use this one then okay yes this one's going to be good so trim that bit off So it's certainly something that you can do mass making. I think I'll keep, or well, let's just, maybe we'll do a taller. The only thing with the tearing is I do have end up with that on the other side. Um, maybe I can color it in, I don't know. Now I also would like something that I can even do some collaging and embellishing on. So let me just see here. That's too small. Put that over there. That shouldn't be there. Oh, what about this? And I can use the wonderful pieces of um, the, I can't think the, um, I'm going to already fold that one down just so I can gauge it better. So that's going to be the top of my bag. So I'm just going to trim a little bit off here. Um, I can use my wonderful fussy cuts that were given to me by Kylie. Thank you so much, Kylie. I, I, I honestly um, just can't get over what a ding dong I am that I, I didn't um, pull them out. I'm still getting over that. Okay, so that's going to go like that. And now, this is not a usual... That's crooked. I can see straight away. Um, it's not a usual pattern for me either. But I might be able to make it work. Depends what I choose. That's a scrap. we would lose the butterfly but I think I quite like the birds so trim here and nice way also um, if you're finishing up a project very nice way to use up the leftover papers 
which is always a good thing if you want to move on to somebody else's digital kit or you know to a different not somebody else's but to a different digital kit then um i didn't leave enough on i should have left that doesn't matter we'll just do a tiny fold there i'm just doing it now to remind myself that it needs to be a little fold and hopefully a straight one yeah i think that's going to be good put that there this is again not a typical thimble you won't be able to see much with this one because it's going to be covered it's just a bit more modern than what I would normally use, I think, is my issue. And we could, oh, I quite like that there. Maybe I'll use it that way. Oh no, that's gonna disappear, okay. I won't use that one. Oh, that one, that's it. So let's just trim. I'm not gonna actually trim the height because I'm going to make a boo-boo like I did the last one. You're probably thinking, what on earth are you doing, woman? I need to trim me like that off. I know, because I don't want white. Now, I won't do that one. That one's really pushing it for me. Um, that's pretty on that side, so maybe we'll use this. is that so I don't make a boo-boo oh that one's double-sided I know I'd already used it for something else goodness guys so the storage in my phone filled up and I didn't realize I've been talking to myself I have totally been sitting here talking to myself and the video cut off and I've this is like you've missed all of this. So um, what I did was, I'll have to tell you now, I was pausing the video so that I'd do all the gluing. So basically I clipped, I folded down the top, I clipped um, them on, and then I did my folding to get the folds. And now what I'm doing is taking them off, opening them out, doing my snipping. So I'm cutting all the corners off at an angle so that they don't overhang when I glue them down. Like so. So goodness knows what wonderful information you've missed out on. So I do apologize for that, can't be helped. Sometimes the silly phones fill up. So there we go, I've glued that down. And then I put it back on here, just lie it over, lie it down, and I'm going to glue with my wet glue this one first, and then that one, and then the other one. So can you kind of see the how I cut them at an angle there? like that and like that I do have to remind myself to cut first and then glue because I get a bit glue happy now you could also use your glue stick I just don't want to have to be going onto the glue paper all the time there we go and there's the bag they do need embellishing, so let's do this one. So as I mentioned, I put, I folded down my the, the top, I clipped it on here, and then I flipped it over and did my fold, got my creases. there so just make sure you check which is your top one that you need to glue down
and I was saying normally I do all my um, snipping and then come back and do my gluing um, and do them do it all at the same time for each one but um, just for the purpose of the video I'm sort of constructing each one at a time rather than streamlining the process. They're very, very easy to make. And a little variation to doing all those fold, all the folds um, with just the journal, you know, the digital paper or whatever decorative paper you might be using. You can use any, you can use wrapping paper to make a bag. Anything, any paper, straw paper. I'm recording now, thank heavens. I deleted some things, but it's so annoying because there should be more room in that. Lily can fit lots in her phone. And I think it's got the same memory as mine. So, see if that's right. Snip first. See, I had a doubt. I have to talk to myself. I knew that that little one was my top. Okay. Just making sure it all folds over, yes. Oh, I went to the post office this morning and I only took five parcels to do. And so literally my, the girl, she's very fast she can um you know she types without she did a course and she can type without even looking at the keyboard um and it's just super fast it's like astounding to watch and um and this lady came in we we started our first parcel and she takes between a minute and one minute 30 seconds to do one you know one put all the information in and do the one parcel and so generally I'll take about between seven and eight minutes if I've got five parcels and the computer's cooperating because sometimes the computer plays up. And so this woman comes in and we've started the first one. We're halfway through the first one. And we're, she's just, um, Kiara's just pulled out the last one and I'd literally been there honestly i'd been there for seven minutes and she and 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 the lady had been there for six minutes that's how long she'd been waiting because i always look at the clock to see what's you know how long we're taking because i get stressed making people wait well i can tell you what if someone goes and opens a, a a bank account or a prepaid debit card there the debit cards take um 20 minutes to half an hour to do and when they open an account you wait 45 minutes to an hour for, for that person to do their transaction. There are people that come in and they take forever. They bring come in with a million transactions to do. So I think my the, I think people can wait ten minutes for me. There's something about mailing that people, even though the post office that's what it's there for, that's how it, how it came about. They offer so many services now. They even have telephone and all kinds of stuff. That people when you're when you're mailing something, it's like how dare you. And that's how I get treated, like by the manager in, in town. She treats me like that as well. It's like, how dare I? There'll be people that take, you know, an hour to do their transaction. But because they might be oh, depositing 5,000 euro, that's more important than what mine is. And I'm like, so that, and, but even the customers are like that. Like, how dare you mail something in the post office? And so literally she waited for six minutes. And then she was walked out. Started. She opened the door and walked out. Started walking out. And, and Kiara's like, "Well, we're doing the last one. If you'd like to know." And I'm like, I, I actually said it out loud. I said, "Goodness gracious, you've only been here for six minutes. <laughs> Couldn't wait. <laughs> like six minutes." And the gentleman behind her, he arrived a couple of minutes later, and he just smiled at me when I left. He was just like, he thought it was hilarious. Like people. 
people do, like 10 minutes to them in the in the post office is an eternity it's like i just can't believe it that i just get i find it really really i do find it bothersome when i go there when i have to mail a lot of stuff i i take it in i do two a few rounds because i don't i feel guilty making everybody wait because they i don't feel guilty because like can't you wait 10 minutes i mean honestly I think if you can't wait 10 minutes, you don't have that the patience for 10 minutes, you've got problems. And I think I feel bad for anyone who who is like that because um, how many lines do we have to do, guys, that you have to wait even more than 10 minutes if you're not patient enough to wait 10 minutes? Imagine if you have, if you have to wait 20. Go bananas. You spend your whole life going bananas in lines. So, um, yeah, I, I, I know when I go to the post office that, you know, um, if it's someone's taking longer than... 10 minutes she'll tell tell us and it's our choice then you choose should i stay i mean people then when i go sometimes i do go with two bags and she's like no no it's you you have every right to do your two bags of parcels um as you know as someone has a right to open an account as someone has a right to pay 10 bills and and that takes time so you you can just do your turn but i i elect often not to do that but sometimes if there's nobody there i'll take the two bags in and then we just continue but if someone comes in she'll say to them oh it's a 15 minute wait and then they can choose to stay or go but some of them some of them choose to stay and they don't complain and others choose to stay and they can they proceed to huff and puff the whole time that they're there I'm like, well, you were told. And that, and one of them once said, the other last week someone said something, and she said, I did tell you, you could have gone if you didn't want to wait. There's plenty of other post offices about the place that you could go to. So there you go. I've got you given your, Wynette was telling me from Wynette's Crafty Corners that I didn't tell any more stories about the post office and the, um, and the, um, and driving Lulu to school. And I said, well, I'm not driving Lulu to school anymore, mostly. Um, Steph does it when he goes to work. And um, and uh, the post office, I do try to go when I know that, well, when I think, because I don't know, but I think there might be a few less people. And so often things don't happen um, if there's less people. Thank heavens, because honestly, I don't need that. And I do, I, yeah, I do find it amazing because Italians are quite often not all it's a generalization what i'm about to say but a lot are not then they're not self-aware in public like they they have the attitude that they're the only people that exist in the world and and i can give you hundreds of examples of that and i think i have in the past um but they um yeah they're not self-aware so they they just have this attitude that you know everything is, is a given for them like you know what i mean like in italian they say e dovuto. like you know they just expect things so um yeah and i'm and i i sort of get very concerned if i'm making people wait whereas they don't they don't care and they they seem to forget that they might come in and and do a transaction that takes longer and make people wait when they're waiting for someone else which i think is amazing so i yeah i just if i decide to wait i don't i never complain it is what it is isn't it right one more to do I'm actually really excited about this little project. Thoroughly enjoying joining myself. I'm very sorry it wasn't recording before. I'm just going to keep popping up, get a bit of exercise, and um, check that it's still going. Okay, that's, and I know which is the top because I, I tore it. I want the torn look. I'm running out of glue here. One it, you'll be telling me off that I've let my glue run out. But I keep it on the side so it doesn't take too long to come down. But I do need to, I'll do a refill. 
when the video finishes. Actually, no, I'm going to go and have breakfast first because I'm very hungry. I haven't had breakfast yet. It's probably 9.30, maybe even later than that. But I don't, I never have breakfast early. I actually like the look of this. So it looks like it's framing it. So I'm not even going to cover that one up. There you go. There's a decision for you. So one other kind of construction thing I want to do is this one I could have left a little bit more space but I'm just going to do a very slight snip there. Oh now it looks like a bag. Oh I do like these. And a little bit easier than the other ones because we don't have to do all that folding just a little bit of folding. So I'm going to I don't want to snip the digital part. I'm going to go and go ahead and do all my snipping. I do like to do I, I do like to streamline it a little bit I think that's a much better look it really looks like a bag which is what we want And the good news is I have those pouches of fussy cuts that I can use if I want to embellish. I'm not cutting them exactly the same. You could, you know, snip um, a corner like I have here on the card, you know, and, and cut and then flip it around and so you get them the same. But I, you know, honestly, that sort of thing does not bother me. I don't even notice it because that's not what I'm looking for. I guess it depends what you're looking for when you look at something. Okay, so now I've got this stuff I've got from Kylie. Thank you so much, Kylie. This is just the bee's knees. So let's have a look. Now I'm going to put some paper on the back of that one. You probably don't need to see me do that on all of them. I'll just do one and I think I'll put a bit of straw paper. Oh, do you know what else would be nice? Oh no, I'll do straw paper. So, let me tear it. I'm looking for my, I'll get this ruler. Probably like make my life easier if I did cut it properly and I, you'll be able to see it a little bit. Now, if I decide that that bothers me, do you know what you can do? And we'll do it so you can see. Is I will use my tom Tombow. That's the only unfortunate thing about tearing, you know, um, papers that are decorated on both sides is you will get one side, the decoration will rip off and then you get left with the white. I do like the straw paper on there. So that's going to be a journaling spot, you see. And then you can put a tag in the front. You can do a thumbnail there if you want. Um, I'm going to grab my Tombow. And just, just lightly. It'll dry too. It, look, it looks a bit darker, but it does dry a little bit lighter. Because it's wet, obviously, now. So I'll just do that. It's just so it doesn't sort of jump out at your eye. It's not exactly the right colour. And then on here, I'm thinking I would like some form of label. Let's have a look. I love these glassine envelopes. I think I like that one. And that one's done. So reverse side, I did that. If you want to put it in as a pocket, then don't do that and just glue on two sides and glue it down. It can be a side tuck or glue on three sides and it can be thing. You're going to have something there as well. So I don't know whether I'd, I would make it more, in, in my mind, it would be more of a side tuck. I'm not going to go ahead and put all the stuff on the reverse side. I'm just going to put writable sort of papers. Like I could put this one that you could write on. I could put this one. I can put some old paper. I've got old book page flying around, grid paper, straw paper. They're the types of things 
I will decide to put on the back. I will colour these in. It's a bit sticky. I like the brush too because it's sort of, it's soft. It doesn't put too much on. Okay. And on here, I think I might put some sort of bird. Oh, I even like that bird. Is that like a kingfisher? I think I like that one. And I'm also going to put on a label. I think, do you have a, a, a what do you call it, a cricket, a cricut machine, Kylie? Is that what how you get this perfect cutting or is that your incredible, incredible fussy cutting skills? I think it looks like incredible fussy cutting skills to me. Hmm, incredible fussy cutting skills. And I would like another label, but I'm thinking I might have a... I don't even want to take them out of these glassine bags. They're so cute. I might have a Tracy one. I've got all these Tracy ones. Oh, I don't have these. I don't actually have this set of Tracy labels, these ones. I must look into that. This, these are lovely. Oh, I don't have these. Sometimes I am challenged as to which way is the up. I can't see that one. No, I think I want a different type. I'm going to get into a mess now. I think I'd like something like that. Do I want to put it up there? Anyway, I'm going to get some glue onto it. Put it there. That's where it landed. Okay. Yep, I'll do all of that afterwards. So this one, maybe I could put something like, oh, I don't want to have it on that side. Put something like that and then a flower, I think. I kind of like the flower to overlap. And I've moved it up a bit because I like that writing there. And flowers. I'm going to put these into my into my folders. So I'm going to be too big just a minute. Do you like that one? Oh, here's a smaller one. I think I like those colours more. Good. Now, I know my desk is a mess. It's just how it is because I need to have all the things in front of me so I can see what I might like to choose. It's about time to change my glue again. Love it. Next, this one. I can have a big one. Oh yes, that one. I'm going to put that up there and Okay. 
and not onto the plastic yet. Oops, I ripped a bit off. Okay, well, we're just powering along here. Okay. So. Oh, here they are. I'm looking for big ones. I want a big one. You made these, Kylie, these little pouches. They are so cute. I like that one, I think. And do I want a flower or a bird? The bigger one. That's going to cover it up too much. Um, I do like that. I could put that up there, couldn't I? That's a bit matchy-matchy now that I'm thinking about it. No. Okay, we're going to go to the land of the birds. I'm going to put that there. And... do really need to put my bird oops my birds in um, their pouch like that bird oh so many choices oh and I think I like this one more and I think I might have just a little bit of book page. Okay, I have glued on these pieces of paper that many times that every side is sticky. Oh, I need to put the glue on this one first. I wonder too if I put that one and maybe another. I'm just going to pull them out. They're sticking to me. I'm looking for some small ones. I've got small ones in my thing. Got, oh yes I did I thought I didn't put glue there oh, I don't have many small ones
just cutting it out guys yeah Okay, that's that one done. That one took a bit more work. I'm sorry about my mess. This one just needs a label and hopefully that will be a snappy decision. Yep, just put a little Tracy label on there. love this paper I'm not even I haven't even decided what I'm putting on this one but I have just simply decided to put the paper oh I do like that bird it's very soft and pretty isn't it careful here because I'm going to rip the legs off Let me go to my one. I think that will do. A good thing everything's very nature botanical kind of thing because that's what we're going to be working on with the journals so these will be able to easily be incorporated in those but i would also include these in a french chateau one or an italian style one no problemo that one simply requires a label put it more almost not quite centered but almost and the last two I think I put those in my to-do box we've been here for a while so I think that's enough for one day kind of almost towards the center I don't like things right in the middle okay so I really love those I like that I'm going to leave that that one's done um, this one, uh, well, that's not too bad, actually. I think I would leave that one. Uh, this one here. I'd leave that. So only a couple. Oh, I love that one. Um, only a few of them need something on the back. You could actually just leave them like that and then decide. Love that. I would co probably cover that. Um, this is a smaller one. And then this one. Love that one. I would cover that. And then that one I did cover. So there we go. So I hope you enjoyed that. We've made paper bags with digital paper and scrapbooking paper. So using up your bits.
good way to use up your bits and super fun and super easy and then we've got these two which will go on my to-do box and i'll finish those another time so i hope you have a wonderful day thank you so much for watching i'm sorry that the video um cut out and i didn't realize um but you get the gist and have fun with it and i will see you again soon bye